The next ceramic crystal structure type we should discuss in the AX or one-to-one -one family is cesium chloride. Cesium chloride is a really simple structure. Here it is shown here. You've got one type of atoms on the corners and a different type of atom at the center. It looks like BCC, doesn't it? This is not body-centered cubic. In body-centered cubic, the ones at the corner and the one in the center are the same atom. That's not the case here. Here we've got cesium and chlorine, right? Now, why does it form in this crystal structure as opposed to rock salt? Well, because the radius of the cation divided by the radius of the anion gives a different value. Before, the cation was significantly smaller. Here, they're almost the same size. In fact, if we look up the size of cesium and chlorine cations and anions, we find the following. Cesium right here is something like 1.74 angstroms, whereas chlorine on this table shows that it's about 1.81. So 1.74 divided by 1.81 is about 0.961. If we come up here to our table, we can compare that to what the coordination geometry should be. And we find that it's between 0.7 and 1, therefore we should expect cubic geometry, right? And that's exactly what we see here. The atom in the center is surrounded by eight red atoms, right? Therefore it's cubic. Let's pull this up in Vesta and take a look at it. Here's the structure and it's shown with its bonds. So this one is clearly surrounded by eight, but is this one also surrounded by eight? Sure, we can see that if we look at a couple different unit cells. Let's expand this out and look at two unit cells in each direction. When we do this, it becomes obvious. Let's take a look at this central atom here. Do you see how it's surrounded by eight of the light green atoms, right? You've got four above, one, two, three, four, and four below, one, two, three, four. So sure enough, both atoms in this type of structure have a coordination number of eight. So the cesium chloride structure isn't too bad. It's not BCC. It's two simple cubic lattices that are interpenetrated. What else can we say about it? Well, what about the lattice parameter and how it relates to the ion sizes, right? So the lattice parameter A, in this case, what would it be related to? Well, to answer that question, we should look at where they are touching in the crystal structure. Where does it look like they're touching here? Let's go back to a single unit cell. Well, they would be touching along the body diagonal from this atom all the way to this one and then to that one. They would be touching along that direction. And along that direction, there would be one teal radius, two green radiuses, and one teal radius, right? So four radiuses in total, two of each type. And the distance here, we solved it previously. We know that that's equal to root three times the lattice parameter. So square root of three times A will be equal to two of the radius of the cation plus two of the radius of the anion. All right? And then how many atoms of each type are there per unit cell? Very straightforward. We can look at this. We have the eight on the corners. We know that it's eight times one eighth for these ones on the corners and one completely inside. So there are there is one cesium and one chlorine or two atoms total, but one of each type per unit cell.